So many of us live in the yesterdays, live in the past. But the past does not matter. The only moment that matters is this moment right now. We call it today. And that's why we say live in the present to stay grounded. Because there's nothing that you can do on the yesterdays. There's nothing that you can fix. You can't go back in time and fix it. You can't go back and change what you said. You can't go back in time and fix those mistakes. The only thing that you can do is change your current mindset and reactions today, especially about those things and memories that are giving you conflict or tension. You see, it's the memories and the uh, emotional attachment to those memories that cause us to deviate away from the present moment. And a lot of us are stuck in the yesterdays because everything that has happened in the past is stored in our spirits some people call it the pain body or the emotional body or whatever whatever you may call it but these memories are stored inside of us that's why people have a lot of issues when it comes to moving on forgiving other people or just kind of like they just can't stop replaying the same past the the same negative emotional memories that is keeping them stuck and i know for me personally for a long time i had some issues with this as well whereas like i had probably this kind of like perfection complex to a very ocd level where it's like everything must be perfect and if i fuck up i'm i'm gonna go home and analyze it so that i never make that mistake again and then, you know, you know, months and years go by and I'm still analyzing the same kind of memory, preparing myself so that that event that caused me a emotional pain or that traumatic event would not happen again. And I know this is true for many of you guys as well, where you some of you guys probably play the same emotional traumas in your head in your mind over and over and over and the only way to really move forward is to let that stuff go and be in the present now again being in the present does not mean that you're denying or that you are suppressing those emotional charges is to say that you accept it you allow it and you continue moving forward you cannot go forward if your car is on brake and that's kind of like the equivalent of what happens when we are stuck in the past or just stuck in these kind of like negative cycles. We are trying to go forward with the foot on the brake. And it's literally impossible to move forward. It's literally impossible to be present and in the moment when we keep replaying the same negative loop over and over and over and over again. Now, I know a lot of this is very common sense. This is very obvious. This is like general self-help information here, but it's very important to take note because on one level, you might understand these concepts mentally. If someone were to tell you like, yeah, you already know this, but sometimes when we get caught in such a deep negative spiral, we are not aware of what's actually going on with us. For example, when you've been depressed for years, for, I don't know, maybe five or 10 years, depression becomes the filters of the way you see the world. You don't even know that happiness exists because all you know is depression. All you know is struggle. All you know that is that life is hard, that life is a battle. I must survive every single day. Every, life is so much pain. Life is so much suffering. But what you don't realize is that that is a feedback loop. That is one feedback loop and that is one subjective truth. You can easily go to a different kind of version of truth by adopting different mindsets, by adopting different strategies that help you move away from those old lifestyle, those old choices that are keeping you stuck, that are making you stuck in pain. And I know that this, this may be difficult, especially because there are a lot of people, especially in the information world, where we all know this stuff. This stuff is common information. But when it comes to the application, when it comes to applying and executing these concepts, 
it's actually harder to apply these concepts than and to really live it as opposed to logically understand most people don't have an issue with understanding these concepts most people read the books they they get it but they find themselves stuck in the same problem and that's because they're still rooted in their old yesterdays they're st their their mindsets is still replaying the same problems and because they keep rewinding it over and over and over again they find themselves replaying this the traumas over and over again and also the emotional charges that are attached to those conflict to those painful memories so i don't know maybe someone got raped when they were little maybe someone got abused when they were little so when they are interacting with people they're coming from a survival tactic their, their strategies are meant to survive so they might be defensive or they might be offensive so say someone had issues growing up and people beat the shit out of them all the time so they will be the ones who initiates the the drama so that be, be, before they get attacked they start attacking people so they, they don't become the victim and it's important that we start catching ourselves in these loops because once you realize it and once you see that wow i'm i'm in the fucking loop I'm still thinking the same way. I've been living my life doing the same things over and over again. And here I am still thinking about the same things, still holding on to the grudges that I've had that were that happened many years ago. And I'm still replaying it, hoping that I could somehow fix it. But the past is the past. It's long gone, my friends. And when you find peace in the past, when you find peace in the present, you can create whatever future you want. That's been the Vichy Neptune, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Be sure to check me out on prosperitylifefast.com to make your life easy. Prosperitylifefast.com uh, is the website for The Secrets of Life. It's intended to help you accelerate your success and help you to get a better understanding of life. Also, be sure to check out the resources down below. I have tons of helpful resources that will help you in whatever area that you you may want to improve on whether it be bit uh, wealth whether it be money whether it be becoming an alpha male attracting women or whatever check out those resources down below and if you wish to support me please give this video a thumbs up also if you want to contribute to me and make this full time for me so i can continue to trade high quality content you can support me on patreon or on paypal thank you so much for listening with love, Da Vinci Neptune. Until next time, friends.